Indiana's mayors, including both Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett and Carmel's Jim Brainerd, pushing Congress to take action now after the latest mass shooting. Yeah, they've joined more than 230 other mayors nationwide, asking the Senate to vote on a pair of House bills which passed with bipartisan support. Bush TV's Dan Klein joins us now live downtown. And Dan, most people you talk to hope the letter makes a difference. Yeah, the letter highlights two bills, one that would include a requirement for all gun sales to go through a background check and one that would extend the review period for a background check from three to ten days. Now, most people on the circle say those are good ideas, but not everyone, including a military veteran. Images of a sidewalk in Dayton and a parking lot in El Paso, the latest mass shootings in this country. Our president, he's tweeting about like thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers aren't going to do anything. That, that's not going to stop the shootings. More than 200 mayors agree, signing a letter put together by the U.S. Conference of Mayors, including five in Indiana. Those in Indianapolis, Carmel, Fort Wayne, Gary, and South Bend's Pete Buttigieg, who is also running for president. The letter, addressed to both Senate Republican and Democratic Party leadership, highlights two bills passed by the House strengthening background checks and asks them to act now. I think that it's a great idea. It has happened way too much to not do anything about it. I think that's probably a good idea. I just want to see action now, and not a bunch of arguments. Not everyone agrees. Navy veteran Daryl Benj visiting from Texas with family in El Paso. I wish somebody in that Walmart would have had a gun. They would have shot that crazy SOB. He would like things to go the other way. For those who pass the current background check, to be able to open carry just about everywhere. While I'm Texas and traveling anywhere and everywhere in Texas, I feel really safe carrying my gun. But for others, the signatures from Joe Hogsett, Jim Brainerd, and others. I'm glad he's getting involved. You bet. I am very glad. With 251 mass shootings in this year's first 216 days, defined as any incident where at least four victims are shot, even if they don't die, the real question is will the letter do any good? I do not think it's a good idea. That's uh, taking away from your rights. Yeah, I think it'll make a difference. I guess we'll find out. I tried to interview both Mayor Hogsett and Brainerd today, but both were not available this afternoon. But the number of signees keeps growing. It's up to 235. And some big news today. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell saying that he will not bring the Senate back early, but when they do come back, red flag uh, laws as well as background checks will be up for discussion. Reporting live downtown, Dan Klein, Wish TV News 8.